Hi everyone, this is Max and welcome to another Oculus Go uh, mini review. Uh, this week we're going to talk about a wonderful game simply named Echo. So this wonderful game is very story driven. It is told in the style of a fable and uh, we follow the adventures of Echo, uh, a blind child that has uh, no way of seeing where he's going and the only way that we can make him do stuff is by by sound. So the story evolves around Echo as a small blind child that has to be guided through sound, through the puzzles and through the, uh, the, the entirety of the game. Uh, and the, the point of view of the, of the game is seen uh, through the eyes of his mother. So his mother, through her dreams, can interact with the environment and make him move and make him do things. Uh, the story is very po poetic and very beautiful and also the music is also orchestrated so it, it is very power powerful in the, in the game. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to play through the first chapter and try and make you see how wonderful it is uh, through the graphics, the music, uh, the story and uh, hopefully maybe entice you into trying it out yourself or if you already did, tell us in the comments what you thought about it. So without further ado, here is Echo in Oculus Go. Somewhere, Echo was dreaming. And the stars, who are the daughters of the night, knew it. From up here, we see everything, they said. Weave the bond that unites us, and we'll lead you to your son. This was where my son was, imprisoned, quietly sleeping in a cage. It wasn't the starting point I was expecting, but it was time for him to wake up. Who could have trapped him? Despite the shock, Echo was still imprisoned. A big rock was blocking his path. As the teller of this story, I had some small power over this world. A rolling stone gathers no moss but it easily catches bumps. This was only the beginning of Echo's troubles and of the difficult path that was going to make him a new being. That star had invited itself into my story. So much the better. It would most likely have a role to play in it. One of Echo's first challenges was a bridge. 
A bridge that had abandoned its purpose ages ago. The star, at least, seemed to know where it was going. And Echo only had ears for it. Whoops! This field held more surprises than the small streets of our village. This is how, one century later, a freshly hatched pilgrim was about to tread upon the sacred ground. Feeling the beaten down grass against his legs, Echo understood that something had made a stop here before moving on. Something big. approached the temple with confidence. He loved the old stones that told many stories under his fingers. Despite all those good meals I had cooked for him, my son wasn't heavy enough to weigh down the slab. This stone block seemed perfect. The door opened on a sound only Echo could hear. The star was waiting for Echo to step out, but this door wouldn't open by itself. The mech in Echo was finally free. Something important was to happen. was there, so close, the breath that resonated in the valley, what the star had wanted him to see. It was an amlak e a snake god, a star harvester, a life carrier, the one from the legends I had told my son so many times. And this god was dying, pierced by the spear of a man. Calmed by the child's presence, the snake let itself go. This was the first time Echo witnessed a death and a birth, for the serpent had left an egg.
Serpent gods traveled the universe, harvesting with their scales the memory of the sky. From this memory, an egg was born. They then came to the sacred lands to lay the egg, called Enkalal. It was a gift of life, and my son was holding it in his arms. The egg of a god. An egg god. What a burden for such a young child. What to do now? Which way to go? The egg seemed to have an idea, but it needed a support to express it. allowing my son to gather a bit more weight in this world. One only had four senses. The other seemed ready to break at any moment. But their fragility was now shared. And there it stood, just like in the scriptures, just like in Echo's dreams, the temple of Isa, the gigantic home of the Amlak Ebab, the serpent god who would never return there. was a melody. been a long way for Echo. The temple obeyed the egg, which it knew well. Echo wondered if he would ever see it again. Wait, thought Echo, shaking. What's in there? A hero, said a voice. And it's you. You are who I need. Don't be afraid, thought Echo. You're a big boy now.
The egg hadn't reappeared, but Echo still felt its presence. Where had it gone to? So this is it for Echo, the first chapter. I hope that you liked the video. And if you did, drop a like, a comment, a subscribe. Um, tell us if you want to see more. Maybe I'm gonna later. I'm gonna make, make a let's play for the whole game. Uh, if you if you do, drop us a line. It's always fun for us to exchange with you guys. So this is pretty much it for us. Thank you for watching. We love you guys, and have a great week.